hello guys and welcome to the second part of this tutorial in the previous tutorial we have seen that how we can define a function in python and we defined a low pass filter a high pass filter and band pass filter in this tutorial you will see how we can use these filter and filter out our data first we will define a function and then we will call that function to perform the specific filtering so as you know we have to use keyword def the function will as the function will be performing filtering so we name the function filter signal first argument that we will require is data then cutoff frequencies order will be 2 and filter type and of course sampling rate the impact sampling rate should come here sampling rate. it doesn't matter where you ask the sampling rate so this will be the input arguments the procedure is that we will of course import the sci pi library so i will write from dot signals dot signal import button as well as field function I will explain what this this field field function does so it will be like this and then uh, we will check what filter type has been entered by user so if get the filter type in lower case and if it's equals equals to low pass then then return b in a using the above mentioned butter word butter low pass filter and we know that uh, for calling the butter word low pass filter you have to give first cutoff frequency so whatever the user has entered cutoff frequency then sampling rate and of course the order which in by default is 2 else if if user user has entered a high pass then return a and b using using our defined high pass filter with cutoff frequency Sampling rate and order. And the analog is always false, so if you mention it or not, doesn't matter. Of course, but for band pass filter, the filter type. band pass then you have to mention to the user that they have to enter an array of cutoff frequency so for that we will use assert 
type of cutoff you can see equals equals list or by the array and you have to of course call you have to import by the array can mention here that please enter the cutoff frequency frequency in form of array or list so of course it will also return a b and a and we will be using butterworth band pass filter with as we will have two cutoff frequency so first we will use zero first frequency will be zero second cutoff frequency will be Add, will be at the second position of the array or the array list so cut off frequency 1 and sampling rate and order there is also another type of filter which is called not fit notch filter or not that is also an IIR filter so let's suppose if user enters that filter type to be a not so then we can do it very easily we can say b and a equals to IIR not and it is also included in sci-fi library so the cutoff frequency of course q equals to 0 0.005 and fs equals to sampling frequency or sampling rate and you have to of course call here iir not so after this uh, of course we have to apply the filter to the data so you can say we have we will get filter data equals to fill and fill filter fill, fill. what this fill filter does is this function applies a linear digital filter twice one in forward direction and one in backward direction the combined filter has zero phase and a filter order of twice than the original one you can google this fill filter function as well so we will what we will do we will apply the numerator and denominator on the data and we will get the filtered data and at the output we will require this filter so we return filter data you can see here that i have some error that is due to i haven't defined any filter type here so you just write some any any low pass high pass or band pass filter here just to tell the function that okay the filter type will be entered like this and then I have put a check that if filter type is low pass, it will run this. If filter type is high pass, when calling, you will enter here and it low pass, high pass, or band pass, or notch filter, and it will run. Okay, so okay, so just to show you how this function will work, I will be using some predefined examples. So let's try this hard by example. I have installed this hard by library so let's say 
I will be using example, example number one so that goes like this load example data one so here you can see that I will have I have successfully imported this data uh, this function is stored in the file named as signal extraction so I will import from this signal extraction import all the functions to this stack so now if we want I want to apply this function filter function on the data so I will write let's uh, suppose it's um, I will give it a name of filter data equals to name of the function filter signal and then data of course let's try band pass filter so cutoff frequency equals to in the form of list let's say 0. Point, um, let's say 7 and 3.5 hertz sampling rate equals to 100 and order let's change the order as well order equals to 3 filter type should be and pass so let's run this and you can see I have a filter data here uh, for the better understanding let's plot this function and both the data so import mat plot let plots as plc so this is how in this function is will help us to plot these two data. Uh, let's say I can plot it using plt dot plot, and for example, I will just plot few some points from the data. Let's say from zero to integer value 120 for example something weight and let's plot this oh sorry so I have to define the sampling rate separately for example I will say sampling rate equals to 100 as you know so we'll just run this and you can see in the plot so this is our original data and let's plot the filtered one as well filtered one what's the name of that function yeah filtered data So this is the filter form. So you can see that so as you can see this was the original signal and this is the filtered one. So our defined function has worked and we have successfully ran, ran bands pass filter on this data. So I hope you would have liked both the parts and please like, subscribe and share this video and also comment that what kind of video do you want to see me making in future i will try to upload once or twice in a week and this time i will be regular so just stay tuned and subscribe hit the like button hit the bell icon thank you